Welcome to the channel guys. So as stated in the previous video when we were looking at how we can register components locally, we can create and register them locally. I stated that I'll be looking at at routing in the next video, which is this one. So for this video, we're going to look at routing. But the routing that we're going to be look at, looking at is said it's a simple and easy way. In my opinion, it's very easy. However, it is said not to be like the safest, I guess, or there are probably more. There is another a more modular way to go about doing routing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an update to this video on how you can actually do it a better way but this way is just going to be a, a down and dirty a rough one that is just very simple and easy to use in my opinion so as you can see here we have our development server running we don't have anything in this thing here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put an h1 here and i'm just going to say this is for three dots and save and this should compile this thing quick and if we go here you can see here this is home all right great so the first thing that we need is to install view router so to install view router we have to go to the terminal we click on the terminal and we have to cancel it so we say come on um, control C actually yes and we stop the development server this should um, stop now eventually this thing will just um, cancel out there go back to look at that in a, in a minute so to install a view router what we need to do is just to say npm install we're using the node packet map package manager and we're just going to say tac tac save and this will save it to our dependencies and what we're saving is the view router and even though I already has I have this thing saved I'm just going to go ahead and run this command just to show you that uh, this is the way you actually install it and I'm just going to go back here and as you can see the development server is is out but just to burn the time a quick shout out to our sponsor here we have fedora services which is a jamaican online e-commerce platform that sells products for local businesses in jamaica basically what they do is sell goods and services and stuff like that to businesses that do not have the basic capability or the time to host an e-commerce platform. These products are very affordable. I am affiliated with this website. If you should use uh, my link in the description to to purchase any of the products that are yeah basically on the website i will get a commission let us start i'll i'll put that out there for you as you can see here they got earpods and stuff like that and all that good stuff yeah so let's go back to see if that thing has already been installed so it is installed and as you can see from the tree has it's been replaced by a new version so what i'm going to do as i said i already had have this thing installed and you can see that it is view router um 3.1.3 so i'm just going to let's see how long this will take i was just going to cancel it but let's see here going back so as i was saying this is yeah, where I can make some buck from by being an affiliate you also can sign up for this thing by just going to affiliate and 
creating a new affiliate so the commission rate is at five percent so you just go to new affiliate and you just add some basic information name stuff like that how you want to receive your payment create a password agree to the terms create and then you can create like some affiliate links which i'll leave in the description and then you can just basically get paid from there just by leaving a link on your instagram or whatever you can get paid all right is installing and uh, yeah what I'm going to do oh great so it has finished install so you can see view uh, router 3.1.3 updated one package yeah so no vulnerabilities so what I'm going to do is now to run the server so I'm going to just get the server back up all right, and I'm just going to close this thing. <clears throat> so the first thing that we need here is to import the view router. So we're just going to say import view router. Yeah, we can basically, I think we can basically give it any name that we want, but we're just going to work with view router and we're going to say from, what is this searching from? So we're just going to say from, and this will be the view router and we're just going to close that and now all we need to say is view.use so we're going to use this thing so we're just going to say view.use view router open that instance or whatever close semi with a semicolon we're just going to say view router because this is what we're we're going to be using the next thing that we want to do and again what i say is maybe is that basically the probably the most safest way to do this thing there is a better way to do it and i'm going to show you in another video so we're just going to make a constant and we're just going to make name it routes this is going to be equal to some arrays so it's going to be equal to an array and this array is going to have some objects passed to it. So the first object is going to be the path. So this is basically going to be the path for for the the things that whatever we're putting in. But just before we the components, I should say, not the things. So just before we continue to the path, we need to create those components. So the first component, I'm going to call it um, something. Something view. and this component I'm just going to have an H1 which is saying this is something yep three dots and we're just going to save that and close that I don't think we need it anymore and let's create let's create another one so we can have two to work with so this uh, new, new dot view and this is going to be an h1 as well i just say this is the new this is the new the, the new uh, component uh, component do that save and we're just going to get rid of it. Yeah, let's see if our development server is running. Yes, it is. And let's see if we have nothing in here. Yeah, so we're go we're going back to home. So now we have created the components that we're going to be rooting to. So the first one is I'm just going to leave it just like this, basically just like this. So this is going to be our home. Components in there we put a slash it's going to bring us home So we're just going to make a comma here and then we're going to create a another path and This path is going to be uh, path. Oh, What the hell am I doing? Path 
lab and then this is going to say something and we're just going to put a comma here we're just going to put components so we're separating this could go on a different line however i prefer to just keep it on on one line i think it looks better there we're just going to say something yeah another one we're going to create a second one and this one is going to be a new, a new, a new component. Alright, so as you can see, it's all throwing an error because we have not imported this thing. So it's going to import something, something from. The source component slash something close that and we're just going to copy this thing here again okay. we're just going to say uh, new from as you can see uh, as you can see it's my monitor right now as you can see here it's highlighted correctly and these are no longer having this squiggly red line under it. <coughs> now we want to get rid of this squiggly red line. So we need to make is another const which is going to be called a router. And we're going to equal this to an instance. This instance is going to have we we'll close this here. This is going to have an object. So this object is going to have the routes. And as you can see here, it's gone. But we have it here as well. Um, I'm going to look at the mode, the modes. But before I do the mode, the mode, yeah. And before I do, but before, just before I do, uh, what I want to do is just to show you what will happen. You can see you get that hash, hash dog sign because it's, it's automatically configured to be in in hash mode. So what I want to do here just to come down here and say router. As you can see it's it's gone. So basically what we would have to do is just to say route route but because of ES6 syntax we don't need to do that anymore. And it would be the same for down here. Alright so now the final thing that we need to do is just to come to our app that view file and to place our router view here. And this is where the routes will be will be loaded. So we're just gonna save this thing here. We're just gonna come up here and this thing should be reloaded. Uh, yeah, it's reloaded now. Uh, if we should say slash new, uh, nothing happened. Wow. All of that for nothing. Let's see where I did something wrong. Slash new. Try slash something. Mm, nothing. Oh, really? I know where I messed up. So here, where you see we have const router, we should have new router. That's all we should. So let's just save this and go back. Not to wait any more time. Reload. You can see we get that the home thing, and now we got our hash symbol there. If we say something, we get our something there. If we should say new, we get our this is a new component here. All right. So now to just get rid of that hash symbol there. So the first, what we need to do is just come here and 
and history because this this was the hash one was the one that was used in the olden days i'm just going to say that and now we're using history so well that's just weird anyways and now this will get rid of the the hashtag so if i should just come here and say something without the hash it will say something if i say new it will say new all right so that's basically it for this video thank you very much for watching if you have any questions please leave it in the comment section if you found this video useful please leave a like you can also share with a friend and subscribe hit that notification bell to never miss a post if you have any suggestion on any other video please leave it in the comment section below all right